I haven't quite touched on this one, so I just wanted to do that. There's no marking of it on the dial, but this is an FMS Mauta. It uses a bim-bam striking movement powered by an anchor escapement, or a recoil escapement as some people call it. You might be able to see it there. Just a little bit. It's a little bit unfortunate that the dial has seen better days. It's definitely gone through some wear and tear over the years. I'm not quite sure if this is its original key. I'm assuming it is because it's got the same kind of wear that's going on on the face. Sort of. It's got the same color from the fading. Or oxidizing. It's not oxidization. I don't know the proper term. Still new to all this. Here's the movement out of the case. There's some text here. I don't see any company logos. Which is a little bit odd. Because if, from what I've seen online, FMS Mauta likes to mark their movements. You can get a better view of that escapement if I can just hold it correctly. When I got it, this suspension spring was broken. This is a new suspension spring. It isn't original. Neither is that pin there. This is the three hammers. Now you can see the rack. I'll trigger the striking. I don't really want to touch it with my bare hands for too long. The striking can be triggered right here by this little white thing. Works very well. Here you can get an inside look with the movement out. Inside look at the case with the movement out. These are really long chime rods. They go down to the bottom of the case. The pendulum barely fits. I wonder if it's original. Looks to be. I took it off the wall. Now we're looking at the back of the case. See, you can see where the chime rods go in. This is the logo that's on the back. It's very decrepit, as you can see. FMS Mauta, as it says, which it, well, that's what it's trying to say here, but it's all decrepit. And you can see the bird that they went with. And according to this website, if it's accurate, I don't even know if it is, so please let me know if it isn't. This is their trademark uh, signature or picture, I guess, logo from around circa 1925, which makes me wonder if this is some kind of date code. I wonder what 131 means. I wonder if the 27 has something to do with 1927. <clears throat> if anyone knows, your input would be greatly appreciated for me and those who are also watching. I will pin your comment if you have any um, nice information on FMS Mauta. And here it is going again. I love these German movements that you can take out the clock just by unscrewing these two bits here
very wonderful. I sound super enthusiastic when I say this because it's 6 a.m. <laughs>